What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and I am back for another tutorial. This video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me. You guys know whenever I do a chit chat get ready with me, I'm giving you a life update, telling you where I've been because I'm always MIA. I know I suck, but I have a lot to update you guys on from my hair to my life. I've been getting a couple of questions and some major changes have happened and I feel like I need to share them with you guys. Spill a little bit of tea, not too much, but I'm gonna spill some today. Before we do the makeup though, I just wanna mention my hair, girl get into it i'm in love with these braids i recently got them done by my homegirl hair by step if you follow me on instagram you would have seen a detailed look at this style and i tagged her if you're in the south florida area definitely hit her up and yeah if you haven't seen that post yet definitely check out my instagram page if you want to find out how you can get them done or just see a closer look at it so you can show your hairstylist but these braids are so popping i have not been in the mood to do my hair lately so i just wanted to do something that would keep Keep it out of the way for a couple weeks and i'm seriously in love with it so before we get started let me just clip these out of the way so that i can really beat this face i cannot talk while i do my brow so let's just go ahead and get those out of the way i'm using the it cosmetics universal brow brow power pencil and i love this because it's kind of in like a taupey brown color and i feel like in the past i've had a problem with doing my brows too dark but this is just a shade that's really nice and light and buildable so if you do like a darker brow you can really build this up and add a lot of it but if you don't want to do it too much with your brows you just want to fill them in a little bit this is the perfect shade and it's not overwhelming so I've really really been loving this I actually received it in the mail but when this runs out I will definitely be repurchasing so I recommend it so I just wanted to get a little bit closer so you guys can see I still do not get my eyebrows done ever I pretty much do them whoops all by myself I just pluck them a little bit with tweezers I feel like my brows are just thriving with me doing them by themselves they're so thick and full and I just have to fill them in a teeny bit with my pen. So I also like that this is so easy to wipe off. So when you mess up, which sometimes I feel like this pencil does slip a little bit, but when you mess up, you can just wipe it off. So that's pretty much all I've been doing to my brows, just barely filling them in. And as you can see, this color is really natural. Like I said, it's not too crazy, but it does make a major difference. I'm gonna go in with my little spoolie here and just brush that out. And that's pretty much it. This one is a bit too thick. So let's go in with our concealer and clean that up. I know I look crazy. I have been using my Fenty Beauty, what are these called again? Matchstick. And when I first got this, I was not using it at all. But recently I tried using it the way Rihanna uses it by rubbing it on her hand a little bit. And so I've been really liking this Fenty Beauty matchstick in caramel. I rub it on the back of my hand like Riri. And it's just really nice and blendable and movable and yeah, it's cute. I'm just gonna use whatever is left on my brush and go on top. I don't like to add more product up here because I don't want it to get too crazy. Just adding a little bit. The brows are on. I'm just going to add a little bit of my Benefit Professional. This has been my recent favorite primer. It's definitely new to me and I've been liking it. It really fills the pores, gives you that little smooth look. So let's talk about hair. So a lot of you guys have been asking me when I'm going to talk about my new hair color. I recently dyed my hair, it's in braids now, but I'm sure you guys have seen tons of photos of it already. And I did that with Cream of Nature. So I was a 2018 Cream of Nature color crush this year. By the way, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. I'm in the color amber honey and this has been my recent go-to i'm pretty sure this is not the best way to apply this foundation <gasps> I have been trying to be super healthy with my hair, but I've been a little bit bored recently, so I decided it was the perfect time to go ahead and switch up my look. So I went to Chicago with three other girls, Amber, Janelle, 
I am Treya and one and only Jess and we all got hair transformations with the Cream of Nature team. So my hairstylist was Pakila Riley and she's an amazing celebrity hairstylist. She's even styled Issa Rae's hair and I was like, all right girl, I trust you. So I basically let her know what I wanted to do with my hair and I basically just wanted that grown out hair look when you know people dyed their hair blonde and then it grew out so their roots are dark and then it goes into a nice brown and then a blonde color color at the tips that's all I wanted I pretty much wanted to focus my color on the ends of my hair and I just wanted that to be my first you know reintroduction with color and she totally got what I meant by that we use the cream of nature argan hair colors in the color light caramel brown and light golden blonde and we basically added that light caramel brown to my hair and we just kind of focused it from the middle of the hair strand to the ends because when you're trying to create that grown out look you don't want it to be too choppy you really have to make sure that everything blends nicely for it to be believable so she kind of just added that light caramel brown first as a nice little transition and then we went back in with light golden blonde and we applied that to the ends of the hair after she did the first process she actually processed it one more time and went in with the lightest blonde just on a few of the tips and it just created a lot of dimension with my hair and that's pretty much the process that we use using the cream of nature argan hair color after she rinsed out my color we also use the cream of nature pure honey line to go ahead and wash my hair and treat it we use the shampoo and conditioner and then the treatment mask and then pakila did a wash and go on me and here are the final results this is what it looked like right after i did my hair since then i have really been loving the cream of nature pure honey line especially Especially their shampoo if there's one product from that line that I recommend it's the shampoo it's just so nice and soft it does not strip my hair at all and it's really easy to even detangle your hair with that shampoo but yeah I've been really loving the hair color like I said I actually think that I do want to add a rinse to it though if you guys saw my last wig video that orangish reddish type of color that I had I'm kind of thinking about adding that on top of this do you guys think it's too soon let me know what you guys think Think, but I will definitely do a whole video if I do decide to do it and I'll also give you an update on my hair since coloring it so yeah that's basically what we did thank you so much to cream of nature for allowing me to be a 2018 color crush and for letting me meet Pakila Riley and have her do my hair it really came out bomb and I'm loving it. So I'm gonna go back in with my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Caramel. Like I said, this has been my go-to concealer. And I'm gonna use this with a small brush, which I've been loving lately, to do my under eye concealer. It just keeps everything nice and neat and in control. And again, it helps me not go overboard. That's been my theme lately, just kind of keeping everything light and fresh. So I'm just gonna brighten up under my eye a bit. As you can see, it's nothing crazy. It just really brightens up under my eye. Ugh, another major life update. So I have been getting a few questions on Instagram from some of my followers asking if me and Michael are still together. So I kind of just wanted to address that really quick as well. So the answer is no, <laughs> me and Michael are not together anymore. I'm not going to be like airing any crazy dirty laundry or telling some drama filled story right now. There really is no drama. There's no crazy thing where he cheated on me or this or that. It's really honestly nothing like that. But no, we aren't together anymore. And it's really just a matter of realizing that I don't think we're meant to be together. I think that a lot of times people are meant to be in your life for a season or you know your whether that be as a lover or friend or whatever and I think sometimes for many different reasons we try to keep people past that season and yeah I just don't always think it's meant to be and there are a lot of different reasons why a person would do that try to keep somebody around and obviously we have a daughter together so that is a major reason and that's a good reason I think that I definitely wanted to give our relationship an 100% try because I do think ideally having your mom and dad in your house your you know birth biological parents is ideal and the best case scenario do I think 
like it's ne completely necessary to raise a good human well-rounded individual not at all i also think that if you're not happy in a relationship and you're just not in a relationship that you should be in your child can sense that and that affects how you raise them so basically i say all that to say that yes me and michael are not together anymore there was no crazy fallout or anything like that it was just a matter of me feeling like we weren't meant to be together anymore i do love him as a friend he was my friend before he was my lover i am so happy that we have stella together he's an amazing guy he's an amazing dad and honestly i don't say these things to like you know put my business out there and put drama out there i feel like i started this channel to help you know with hair and then it moved to lifestyle after i had stella i tried to give advice and i feel like i should be able to do that in all aspects of my life um this wasn't something that was ideal obviously i would have liked us to be you know a family and everything to work out together but i think my happiness comes first and i don't want to live my life unhappy or thinking what if this or what if that and i had to make a decision and now i want to be able to use my experience to help you guys right now i can't you know give advice on co-parenting because i feel like i just started doing that you know i have a lot to learn we still do have our ups and downs just like anybody else don't be fooled don't think that we just broke up life is so perfect and you know we're co-parenting with ease we have the best relationship and it's just so perfect that's not real life you know things happen things collide happens in waves there are going to be amazing moments and there's going to be moments that aren't amazing and you just have to learn as you go figure it out as you go keep trying i think that's what i've learned so far is the most important thing is that you have two people that value the happiness of your child more than anything else and me and michael both want what's best for stella we want her to have a great life we want her to be happy and see her parents happy and yeah right now we're both willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that we can give her that and make sure that she has a great life my parents weren't together and my parents had an amazing relationship and i've seen the beautiful side of two parents that are co-parenting and you know a relationship that doesn't work out but the child still ends up happy and healthy so that's what i hope for stella but yeah i just wanted to give you guys that update uh, like i said i'm not going to go into a whole list of reasons why we broke up but it was nothing crazy i also want to start vlogging a little bit soon and i knew that when i started posting vlogs you guys were going to be asking questions so i just wanted to get that out of the way i am very interested in helping with my channel that's always been the case so when i start you know feeling like the co-parenting thing is really we're handling it i will definitely talk about it hopefully michael one day is willing to come on my channel and talk about it too and you know i can share what i've learned and how the journey is going but for now this is just an update so i went ahead and set under my eyes using a sasha buttercup powder and you know the whole middle of my face and now i have been using the revlon true match powder in the color cocoa and i just use this kind of like as a bronzer on a regular day i do not contour i honestly never contour i don't really contour ever anymore i am more of a bronzer type person i just like to kind of bronze up the face with a darker powder i feel like it gives me a more natural look and yeah are you here for it are you a bronzer person or are you a contour person i cannot tell you the last time i really contoured with like a concealer so as you can see this just gives me a nice kind of sun kiss moment i actually am going to be in new york next weekend october 20th to the 22nd with rpg show you guys know that i've been working with them and showing you guys different wigs every now and then and i actually just launched my own wig design with rpg show that video honestly did not get any play in my last video but if you missed it you should definitely check it out because that wig has been my go-to my favorite and they basically sent me a wig and and then I customized it and I dyed it and it came out to this beautiful burnt orange reddish color and a lot of people loved it so they decided to make that a 
whole wig design on their website. So now you can purchase the Mini Marley 001 wig from RPG Show. But anyway, I will be going to New York with them for a pop-up shop that they're gonna be having in the city. I will leave information for that down below because it is open to the public so you can purchase tickets. A bunch of people are gonna be there, celebrity hairstylist, Jay Majet, um, another um, YouTuber here on YouTube, um, and a few other people. So yeah, you should definitely check that out if you're interested, but I'm going to be there next weekend and I think I'm going to be vlogging. Like I said, I do wanna start vlogging. So I think next week would be a good time to start doing that. I might be bringing Stella so that she can see her family in New York and we'll see that should be a fun time and i can't wait to meet more of my subscribers hopefully at that event i always meet so much more people in new york though and that's something that i miss now that i live in south florida all right so my base is complete and i think it looks so beautiful just flawless okay so recently i have been loving urban decay eyeshadows i'm on their pr list i'm not even gonna lie but i have been loving all the palettes they send me i'm just so excited every time i get a new one and it becomes my new fave honestly the urban decay naked heat palette this is naked petite heat and this was my favorite over the summer i love orange makeup period from lips to cheeks to eyes so this was absolutely my favorite it's a nice little orangey and burnt orangey type of color and then your neutrals love it and then their most recent palette that they send me is this urban decay born to run palette and this has a lot of different things including orange and i also love makeup colors like this the fuchsia kind of colors i'm always using pink fuchsia or orange so i'm going to show you guys my go-to look lately using these two palettes and i'm just going to take a fluffy brush and go into riff right here and i'm just going to use that kind of as a transition color and um, buff that out in my crease a little bit So now that I have that transition color blended out, I'm gonna go into the Petite Heat palette and I'm gonna go into Wild Thing. I'm using the same brush and this is kind of the orangey, peachy color in this palette. And I'm just going to place that all over my lid. And I'm gonna start blending it out. And I'm honestly putting this over the entire lid. Make sure that's nice and blended out. And then I'm gonna go into the orange color in the Born to Run palette. This is a little bit more pop-y. I don't know, you get the point. But this is called Baja. And same brush again, that's how you know this is beginner friendly, cause girl, in real life, we be using the same brush. You know you do it too. And I'm just going to add that right here. Okay, so we're not quite done. One more thing, I love adding something to the bottom lash line. I think that even if you're a beginner, adding something under there takes it up a notch and it's like, she know what she doing. So I'm gonna go back into Petite Heat and I'm taking Heist and I'm just gonna add a little bit to this kind of small angle brush and I'm gonna put that right on my lower lash line. And just like that. Do the same thing on the other side. And no matter what, I am a sucker for an inner corner highlight, so I'm just taking this little pencil brush, adding a little bit of spray to that. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in my Urban Decay on the Run palette again. This color, Stranded, is so nice. It's like a light goldeny color. And I'm just gonna add this to my inner corner. I honestly always go overboard with this because I love it so much. So I'm just gonna try to tone it down for the video. All right, so now that the eyes are complete, let's go in with some blush. This one is by Tarte and it's in the color Oh girl, 
Achiote, Achiote, girl. I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave it in the description box below. I'm going to take my little Real Techniques blush brush and just add a little bit of that to the cheeks. I love blush, honestly. It's probably my favorite part of my makeup. Even if I do a pout, just add powder to my face and add blush, I think it just adds so much life to your face. It makes you look nice and healthy. And because this is a video, I'm gonna add a little bit more because the lights really just wash you out. But even on a regular day, I do go ham with the blush. Before I go in with my highlighter, I'm going to use my Mario Badescu face spray. And this is basically just, you know, to wake up your skin. It has aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I'm always switching it up with my setting sprays. And right now I'm using this. It's not really a setting spray, but just need to add a little moisture to the face. I love a dewy look, so I don't mind. For my highlighter today, I have been using my Artist Couture Jackie Aina collaboration. I honestly bought both of these and I just had them on display looking beautiful, but I recently was like, I should use these. So I thought I would like the darker color Le Bronze, but La Peach, girl, girl, it's really good. I love it. And I'm just gonna use this Artist Couture Real Techniques brush to apply this to my face. And I like this brush because it's really nice and small. I've just been enjoying using small brushes lately because I just feel like they give you so much more control. So I think especially if you're a beginner as well, this is just turned into a beginner everyday makeup look. But yeah, if you're a beginner, I recommend smaller brushes because they just help you keep everything under control. Especially when you have a pop in highlighter like this, it just helps you, you know, not go overboard so random but i also just saw that whitney white natural 85 recently just launched her natural hairline melanin hair care that is so awesome i think that is so amazing she's like an og natural hair youtuber when i first came on youtube when i first went natural before i came on youtube she was my go-to person for natural hair care and it's amazing that she has been able to launch her own product i also love that they did everything themselves that's so inspiring like she literally put in all that time all that effort and did it the right way and i think that is so cool something to really be proud of and yeah that's awesome i'm really really happy for her so congrats whitney if you watch this video i can't wait to get my hands on melanin hair care but yeah i think that's so awesome i'm proud <laughs> And I'm gonna add a little bit on this pencil brush as well and go in my brow bone. We just wanna look like a bronze goddess, always. Highlighted, bronzy, that's my look. So I was recently in New York City with uh, Diva Curl and me and my girl Kia, Notorious Kia, hit up the Glossier showroom and I finally got my hands on some Glossier or Glossier, I'm not really sure products and I've been wanting to for so long and this is their cloud paint this is for your cheeks I honestly haven't even used it for my cheeks yet maybe I will do that soon but I've been using this one it's the color dawn it's orange and I put it on my lips and then I put my Fenty Beauty gloss on top so lately I'm an uh, extreme gloss girl I'm always using my gloss bomb and this combo is amazing but to hype it up just a little bit for this video I'm going to outline my lips just a little bit with my mac pencil and this is in the color bittersweet it's a brown true brown type of color i have dark lips so cork is too light for me if you have dark lips like me try bittersweet it's really good i'm just gonna go ahead and outline my lips a little bit and i basically just open this up like this and i apply it directly to my lips Just blend it out. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Gloss Balm on top.
This is the Lancome Monsoor Big Mascara, and I'm just gonna add a ton of that. But yeah, I just pile this on and create the look of false lashes without it, because on an everyday basis, who has time for that? Well, some people got time, but girl, I got Stella. Okay. Okay. And this is the final look. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed my little chit chat, get ready with me and me just updating you guys on my life and my everyday makeup routine when I do do makeup. And yeah, I hope you guys like these types of videos because I love making them. I love talking to you guys. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about in the comments below if I do another one of these. I also just wanted to mention this necklace. You guys are always asking me about my chains and I do try to put you guys on. So this one is from Think Africa. The the pendant is from Think Africa. They recently sent it to me on a different chain. It was a thinner chain, but I feel like this is such a big pendant that it needs a thicker one. So I put it on this chain, which is from Shop Cold Coco. All three of these chains are from Shop Cold Coco. This one entirely is from them. They sent this to me. This just has an M for Mini Marley, but this pendant is from another store in the mall. But like I said, all three chains are from Shop Cold Coco, and this pendant is from Think Africa. Africa. I love it. It has like a little elephant on it. And my other Africa pendant that I had was starting to scratch a lot. And I got that one in Ghana like three years ago. So amazing, worth the price. It was a bargain for how long it lasted me. But now I have a new one and I know I'm gonna get some questions about it. So I just wanted to let you guys know and I will link that um, Instagram page for Think Africa down below in case you wanna purchase it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel channel turn on your notifications by clicking that little bell next to subscribe so that you can see all of my new uploads i have two hair tutorials coming out this week and i have some new stuff coming really really soon so peace out guys and i hope to see you guys in the next video